trying to carve out a new life for themselves in the American West. Some people say that it was the wickedest town, but we say it was the most interesting. Two cowgirls coming through here? Yeah, just see them. They just went right over there, right? Howdy, right. girls. Nice to meet you. My name is Chocolate Beeson. Welcome to Long Branch Saloon in Dodge City. Thank you. What is your job here in Dodge City? Well, actually, I'm the owner of the Long Branch Saloon right on Front Street, and I actually started the cowboy band here in Dodge City. What exactly is the Old West? Well, actually I would say the Old West is, it's wild, it's West, it hasn't been civilized yet, and we're out here and we're living our best lives. What was Dodge City like back then? Well, I would say it was the wickedest little city in America. It was scary. We had gunmen coming through, outlaws, we were trying to be tamed. It, it was a scary place, but it was also a lot of fun. What did Dodge City smell like? Well, we were a cattle town, so if you ever smelled cows, or do you know what a cow patty is? It's a little smelly. <laughs> Nasty. Were there really a lot of gunfights, or was that just made up history? There were really a lot of gunfights here, but a lot of it was probably dramatized, you know, just to have a really cool story. But there were really bad people here in Dodge City. <gasps> What's one thing you want kids to know about Dodge City? I want kids to know that it is a fun place. We have music, we have singing, and we have lots of dancing. And you can even learn how to be a deputy starting at a very young age. <laughs> Here are five facts about Dodge City. In the late 1800s, Buffalo hunters would bring the animal hides to town to sell. Huge stacks of super stinky buffalo hides crowded the streets. They say that's where the word stinker came from. But were they talking about the buffalo hides or the buffalo hunters? Hey! This town loves its nicknames. It's been called the buffalo capital of the world, the cowboy capital, queen of the cow towns, the wickedest little city in America, in the beautiful, bibulous Babylon of the frontier. Whew, that one's hard to say. I think they should also call it the nickname capital of the world. There's a famous saying, let's get the heck out of Dodge. That phrase started here, from when people wanted to get away from the gunfights. Cowboy 
cowboys from Texas would drive their longhorn cattle all the way here to ship them by trains to cities on the East Coast. More than 5 million cattle were driven here from Texas. That's a lot of cheeseburgers. Gunfights were so common here that the cemetery in town became known as Boot Hill because cowboys were always buried with their boots on. By the late 1800s, the cattle drives and wild days of Dodge City had ended. But it still lives on in legends, books, and movies. And here, at the Boot Hill Museum. Hey girls, thanks for coming to see us and for your good behavior. Wanted to do something special for you and make you guys honorary deputy marshals. Thank you. loved it here. Maybe one day you can visit too. The world is an amazing place. So wherever you are, get out and explore your world. trying to carve a new people trying to carve it welcome to the outhouse what are you looking at historic outhouses where historic people went to the bathroom <laughs> it's a very, very small stuffy building with two holes that you go to the back. Not even a building, just a tiny shack. Little shack. Everything you thought it was going to be, and then so better, better. Awesome. better. I was pretty good. Glad to hear it.